in the labyrinth of love and life, navigating through words can be as treacherous as walking through a minefield. Today, we're decoding the verbal cues that scream caution, because sometimes what's said between the lines speaks volumes about what lies ahead. Greetings to you, seekers of wisdom and truth in the complex world of relationships. I'm your guide on this journey, delving into the nuances of communication that often go unnoticed, yet hold the power to reveal the very essence of a person's intentions and character. As a man who has, has traversed the highs and the lows of relationships, I've come to recognize certain phrases that when uttered should make one's ears perk up in alert. These are not just words, they are red flags waving fiercely, signaling potential trouble on the horizon. Today we embark on a quest to uncover these markers, to arm ourselves with the knowledge needed to navigate the difficult seas of love and connection. So let's begin. Number one, if he says you're not like other girls, Guys, this seemingly flattering statement can often be a mask for manipulation, aiming to set you apart in a way that isolates you from your support network. It's a tactic to make you feel special while subtly undermining your confidence in your relationships with others. Number two, if he says, I'm not ready for a relationship right now, while honesty about one's readiness is important, this phrase can sometimes be a precursor to a non-committal dynamic. It's crucial to discern whether it's a genuine place of self-awareness or a way to keep options open at your expense. Number three, if he says, my ex was crazy. <laughs> Labeling an ex-partner as crazy without context can indicate a lack of responsibility for one's role in past relationship failures. It's a red flag for unresolved issues and potential disregard for respectful communication. Number four, if he says, no one has ever understood me like you do. Well, this can feel deeply connecting. Be cautious. It may be an early sign of emotional dependency or a setup for an unbalanced relationship where one partner's needs overshadow the others. Number five, if, if he says to you, why do you want to hang out with, with them? Questions that challenge your choice of friends or how you spend your time can be early indicators of controlling behavior. It's vital to maintain autonomy and respect for personal choices in a healthy relationship. Number six, if he says, I hate drama. Ironically, those who frequently declare their aversion to drama are often the ones who bring it into the relationship. This statement may hint at a person's inability to deal with conflict constructively. Number seven, if he says, trust me. When trust me is used to skirt around providing genuine understanding or reassurances, it's a sign of a lack of transparency. Trust is earned through actions, not through demanding words. Navigating the complex world of relationships requires more than just understanding and empathy. It demands vigilance to the signs that foretell of a stormy journey ahead. As we've explored today, the words spoken by a potential partner can often illuminate their true intentions and character. It's our responsibility to listen, not just with our ears, but with our intuition and wisdom. If this guide has lit even a single lamp on your path, I urge you to share it with those who wander the maze of love alongside you. May your journey be enlightened by the knowledge that sometimes the red flags waved are not just warnings, but guideposts to a more fulfilling connection.